Yes. Right now I'm going to continue writing, or in this case I'm going to continue typing this particular letter that I started long ago to my dear friend Emily. I'm going to type and speak loudly as I write, okay? Today is October the... what number? Give me a second. October the 18th, 2020. So let us continue with this letter slash book review for my dear friend Emily about this book called The War of the Worlds. By the way, if it is partially perceptible, I'm listening to MGMT, Electric Field, one of my favorite songs. Please, YouTube, don't get too cranky about it. So let us continue. This would be the page number eight of my letter and review type, write, type written to my dear friend from Texas, Emily Patterson. Emily, if you're watching this, hi, love you a lot. It goes like this. As an additional fun fact, I would... Page eight. As an additional fact, as an additional fun fact, I would like to mention that I... Aha. Uh -huh, that... Wait a minute, that I am also reading this book by Charles Dickens called, let's write the name in red, Great Expectations, Great Expectations, both as an audiobook and as a physical, a uh, physical paper book? Please do tell me if there is another name for a regular book. You know, like this particular book that I have from Stephen King. So I call it paper book, I guess. Uh -huh. Why do I say, why do I say both ways? Wait, both ways. Uh huh. That is because. That is because. Because why? Because I actually. Wait a minute. Actually, have the physical. The physical book. Oh, what the heck? Hold on a second. Yes. Stupid YouTube ads. Again, make them skippable. I prefer a skippable two minute or one minute ad than uh, over a uh, unskippable 10 second ad. Please, YouTube, stop doing that. <laughs> Let's continue with some gorillas. I hope it's not perceived so I'm not screwed over by a copyright. Because I actually have the physical book. Physical book. I remember purchasing it. I remember purchasing it long ago in a nice local uh -huh. oh, bookstore. Called, here comes a Spanish name called La Rueca. Oh, fuck. No, no, no. La Rueca. Wrong. La Rueca de Gandhi. A fairly popular and well known. Uh, uh, yeah, well known. A fairly popular and well known spot for buying a respectable variety, variety of books and literature. Books and literature. I, yes, I wanted to have something classic and Victorian, sort of, 
sort of we'll read with some fancy and sophisticated some fancy sophisticated command of the English language language command of the English language so so Charles Dickens was the number one choice once it was was it was by my eyes spotted spotted needless to say I also tried to needless to say I also tried to get capital letters the war damn it the war of the world two alas I couldn't no wait no 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 space there alas I couldn't wait a second there you go one two three four five ah uh -huh. which reminds me by the way by the way I remember that these two authors Dickens and Wells Dickens oh fuck no ah, Dickens and H.G. Wells H.G. Wells lived during the oh god damn it the stupid internet lived during what lived during lived during the same period of time this makes me this in every uh Inevitably, this inevitably makes me wonder. Makes me wonder. Yes, this inevitably makes me wonder. Ah, uh, whether these two authors first knew about each other's work, others' work. And run into one another when they were alive. That's one paragraph. I'll go I'll be back with some more.